Hi everyone, my name is Dakota and welcome to this afternoon pick me up yoga course. In this quick and easy routine, we will flow through poses that energize and wake up the mind and body. We will hold each pose for at least a minute to help recharge and restore the mind and body. This course you can do anywhere or anytime you need to get up and get moving. Also, you can go through the course and note what poses your body needs most and then craft your own custom flow. Throughout the poses, there are modifications so you can adjust them according to your body's specific needs. For this sequence, we will need a yoga mat or a soft grounded surface, a yoga block to help with balancing and comfort, and also optionally a blanket, a bolster, a pillow to rest on in some various poses. Now that all being said, whenever you're ready, let's hop on the mat and get started. Before we begin with the yoga flow, let us first take a deep belly breath. Start by inhaling, filling the belly with breath, expanding, and exhaling, contracting your abs. Again, on your own breath. Bringing oxygen to the whole body. Maybe gently closing the eyes. Now, whenever you're ready, let's get started. Let us begin this afternoon pick me up routine in mountain pose. So coming to your mat, grounding each toe into the mat, setting the weight into your tippy toes, and then into your heels, feeling nice and grounded. Inhaling, setting the shoulders up, facing the palms forward, exhaling, sending the shoulders down and back. Gaze focuses on something in front of you, engaging the abs, inhaling here. Exhaling. Inhaling, bending the knees, sending the arms up overhead. And exhaling, sending the arms to your sides. One more time, inhaling. Exhale, arms come to the waist, hinging at the hips, folding forward. Hips are stacked over the knees. Gently placing the hands on the mat or on a block. Whatever you find more comfortable. Maybe going into ragdoll, grabbing either elbow, extending the crown of the head down, and rocking from side to side. And breathing in this pose. Placing the hands down, inhaling, arms come to your shins, extending the heart, extending the gaze. Exhaling, folding forward. One more time, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Walking the hands out, bending the knees into a downward facing dog, sending the hips up. Pedaling out the feet. Inhaling. Exhaling, dropping the knees to the mat. Untucking the toes. Going into our cat and cow. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. On an inhale, we're gonna drop the abdomen, extend the gaze, extend the heart. And exhaling, engaging those abs, sending it up into our cat. Inhaling. Exhale. 
few more on your own breath. Feel free to go as fast or as slow as you want. Gently waking up the spine. Doing what feels good for your body. And then coming back into a neutral spine, maybe shaking out. And then we're gonna exhale, extending our arms straight out in front of us and gently moving onto our stomach. We're gonna go into a baby cobra. So coming onto our belly, we're gonna move our hands under our shoulders, engaging our core. We're gonna draw the shoulder blades together. Inhaling, we're gonna lift up the chest. Just a baby cobra, not anything extravagant, just hovering over the mat, maintaining a long spine, shoulders are away from the ears, tugging the chin in a little bit towards the chest, gazing at something in front of you, and exhaling in this pose. Inhaling, and exhaling. Planting the tops of your feet in the mat. And on our next exhale, we're gonna gently lower down, placing our chin gently on the mat. Inhaling here. And on exhale, untucking the toes, sending it back into our downward facing dog. Maybe walking it out. Inhaling, exhaling, gaze goes forward. We're gonna lower down onto our knees again, coming into camel pose. So we'll begin coming onto our knees. If this is too much on your knees, you can go ahead and grab a blanket or something soft to place under there. Pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, gently inhaling. We're gonna place the hands on our lower back. So not pressing into the lower back, but just gently having them there for some support. Now from here, we're gonna tuck the tailbone in, lengthen at the spine. Imagine someone pulling you up from the top of your head. And on our next exhale, we're gonna slowly lean back, bringing the shoulder blades together, opening up the chest. Now, if this is comfortable for you, option to stay here, or we can place one hand on the soles of our feet and then the other, keeping the neck in a neutral position, not straining the neck, maybe allowing it to drop gently back, pushing the hips forward so they're aligned with the knees. Inhaling here and exhaling. Inhaling, gently bringing the hands back to the lower back and exhale, slowly rise. Taking a breath here. Exhaling, sitting back onto your heels. Inhaling and exhaling, extending the arms out in front of you, going into a nice child's pose. Resting your head on the mat. Breathing into your low back. Maybe walking the hands out a little more in front of you. Sending the right arm back to meet your feet. 
and then sending the left arm back to meet your feet, palms facing up, relaxing the shoulders, On your next inhale, gently walking the hands to push yourself up. Taking a big breath here. Exhaling with the mouth open. Shake it out. Now moving on to the next pose is garland pose. But if you have a ankle or a knee or hip injury, I recommend going into bound angle pose. So I'm gonna go ahead and show the bound angle pose. It's just a modification, but I'm gonna go ahead and show that now. So bound angle, our soles of our feet are gonna to touch, bringing the soles of the feet in towards the pelvis, extending the spine nice and tall. Our hands can either go in between our toes or around our ankles, whatever is more comfortable for you even by your waist, but making sure the spine is nice and tall, engaging your core. And on your next inhale, sending the spine as tall as you can go and exhaling, extending the spine straight down over your feet and getting nice and comfy and cozy here. So this is bound angle. Now we're gonna go into garland pose Everyone who has an injury will stay in that pose, but for garland, we'll start in mountain pose, starting in prayer. So our hands come to meet in heart center, extending the gaze to the front of the room, stepping the feet out a little bit more than hip width distance apart. And then we're gonna turn the feet to the side of the mat. So a little bit of a, an angle here. And then our gaze is gonna go again to the front of the room. Hands are in prayer. Inhaling, lifting from the waist. And exhale, bending the knees, slowly going down into a deep squat. Inhaling, allowing the spine to stand up nice and tall. Drawing the chest forward. Exhaling, pressing the elbows into the insides of the knees pressing the palms together to create resistance and smiling here in this garland pose. Inhaling. Exhaling. On the next inhale, placing the hands either on the floor, on your knees, but gently coming out of the pose. And then exhale, we're going to untuck the toes and send it back into a forward fold. Walking the feet out, hip width distance apart. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Thank you for joining me in this afternoon pick-me-up course. I hope you have a great day. Namaste.